All right, little tutorial on printing. This is always kind of a tough one for, for everybody. So let's go over it. Okay, so this, what we do right now won't matter. I know printing or plotting in the, in the classroom is just weird for some reason. I don't know why a lot of the settings don't work properly, but uh, regardless whether or not you use Adobe PDF, I think the one that I'm gonna use now in a second is PDF Creator. I know some people have downloaded QD PDF. That's also a free PDF uh, creator that you can use at home. Um, or if you use Bluebeam, all of those will be pretty much exactly the same as, as we show today. So what I'm getting a lot is when, I, when, when you plot this and you submit it onto Canvas, your plotting should be basically all you should see is just the edge of the sheet. If you plot it correctly, that's all you'll see. When you, um, if you plot it and you notice like a big piece of paper all around it, you know that you didn't either choose the correct sheet size or you didn't choose the correct scale. There was something that you did wrong that didn't look correct. So I'm gonna show you how to plot it, the settings that you're gonna want and what it's gonna look like at the end uh, to know that you did it correctly. And why plotting is, or why plotting correctly is so critical is let's just say in my office somebody plotted a Revit file or they plotted a PDF and I open it up a month later and I print it, okay? When I print something in my office, I expect it to be plotted correctly and it to be to scale. If you don't plot it correctly, you, know, you miss one little box, it's so easy for that scale to be thrown off. And you know, let's just say my boss lays it out, he pulls out trace paper, he starts to sketch over it, he's expecting it to be the scale that is shown on the drawing. So right now, if I look at my drawing, it says quarter inch to one foot. So if he starts drawing or sketching over this, he's thinking that it's quarter inch scale, but it's very easy to actually throw your settings off just a little bit. For example, this is ANSI D paper, A-N-S-I-D paper. If I choose Arc D, Arc D is very close, but it's not. And if you choose Arc D, it's actually two inches bigger, or one inch bigger on all sides. And, uh, you know, instead of plotting to 100% scale, you just do fit to paper. Well, it might come out correctly, it'll fill the sheet, but the, the uh, title block that I have here is 22 by 34. So it's actually gonna enlarge it by like 8% to fill the sheet, meaning that's not properly to scale. Okay, so it's very critical to learn to plot correctly. Okay, um, otherwise someone's gonna have to open up the file, replot it correctly so that they know that it's plotted to the correct scale. So let's go through plotting to the 22 by 34 sheet that we've been using throughout the entire semester. All right, and I'll also talk briefly about how to plot for the midterm. Okay, because you're gonna have seven or eight different sheets for the midterm. Let's do a single sheet first, then we'll do multiple sheets. So I am going to go up to the Revit symbol and I'm gonna to go to print, all right? And I'm gonna choose PDF Creator. So I know that unfortunately Adobe PDF is not really working at the, at the moment. So I'm gonna use PDF Creator. That seems to work just fine. So our next option that we're gonna to have to choose is combine multiple selected files into a single sheet or create separate files. Um, I typically do both all the time. So I would like to have like a single packaged PDF that might have, you know, seven, 15, 20, however many PDFs into one single file. I use that all the time. You're gonna use that for the midterm. I don't want to get seven or eight individual files for the midterm. I want one single packaged, you know, submission, okay? But there are times when I do actually want to create separate files. So, which I would create that button right there. Uh, next, we have print range, current view. Current view is gonna print exactly what is on my sheet right now, which is what I'm going to print for the single page plot that we're gonna do right now. All right, and I'll go look at the other options here in just a second. So next, I'm gonna go over to settings and I'm gonna to go to setup. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna change the paper size to ANSI D, okay? ANSI D, not ARC D, ANSI D. All right, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your, your paper placement is centered so that what it is that you're plotting is centered on your sheet. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the zoom is to 100% of size. That means that you are going to plot it to 100% full scale, okay? If you change that to 50%, you're gonna plot to 50% size. So 50% of one quarter scale would be what? Eighth. So if you wanted eighth scale, if I wanted to print this half size, maybe I wanted to print it on 11 by 17 sheet of paper, I would plot it to 50%, okay? But right now I'm gonna leave it at 
I want to leave it at vector processing and I want to make sure that it's at landscape. Okay, so landscape, vector, zoom at 100%, and center, and ZD, those are the five settings that are critical for this class. Okay, but you always need to know what paper size you are plotting to. My office actually uses ArcD, so all of our title blocks are set up to ArcD, not ANZD. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. That's good, my settings are all properly set. Current view is what I want, and I wanna plot this to a single sheet of paper. And I'm gonna hit okay. Go ahead and hit close, that's fine. It's gonna do some thinking. We're gonna get this little PDF creator file type. I'm going to give it a name. I don't want it. That's kind of a goofy name. I don't want that. I'm going to call this, we'll say CTE7. Critical thinking exercise seven. And I'm going to click on save. All right. From here, it already names it. Critical thinking seven. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And it'll think again for a second. And here's our nice little PDF. If I zoom out, Notice that all I see is it's plotted right to the edge. There's not a bunch of additional white space beyond the edge of my paper. Okay, so that's a nice, perfect plot. That's exactly what I want to see from everybody else. If I go and print this, it will print it perfectly to scale, assuming that your print settings are correct. Okay, so that's, that's what I want to see from, from, here on, uh, from here on out. Now, for the midterm, it's going to be a little bit different. All right, I'm just going to add a bunch of sheets to this pretend that this is our midterm submission. All right, so new sheet. You're gonna have a total of seven sheets. Sometimes some people have more, depending if they show more elevations or, you know, everyone kind of, I give you a, I give you a minimum criteria of what you should submit. If you submit all that stuff and you do a really good job, you'll get an A. But people do go over and beyond. So I, you know, if there's other things that you wanna show for your residents, by all means. All right, so I'm gonna add seven sheets here, similar to what you'll have. You'll have your site plan, you'll have your floor plans, you have your elevations, you have your interior perspective, interior perspectives, perspectives, and exterior perspectives, all right? So here it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna to go to my print, and I'm gonna to go to click on combine multiple files into a single file, that's what I want, that's good. But instead of going to current window, I'm gonna click on selected views and sheets, okay? And that's gonna allow me to click on select, I can now print and I can package as many views and sheets as I want to into a single file. Okay, and from here I'm gonna click on sheet A1, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Those are all of my sheets that you'll be submitting for the midterm. All right, so that's seven sheets or however many that you have. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save this as midterm submission. This will, this will allow me to do is if you need to replot your work, which you likely will do, you'll probably replot it and you'll say, okay, this looks good and you'll catch a couple little mistakes and you'll go fix them and then you'll go replot them again. And, but what this allows me to do is I can go up next time. So if I go to cancel and I go and print this again, I can go to select. And instead of me selecting all of these again, all I gotta do is, of course it didn't save, but you would go and you'd click on midterm submission and all of the same sheets would plot. So save as midterm submission, hit OK. So it's now a preset saved, saved up here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. My setup is already correct from last time, all the same settings. I'm going to hit OK. It says, OK, I noticed that, yes, it actually changed by itself, and it does that a lot. OK, so it's saying, do you want to print seven individual files? Actually, no, I don't. I want to combine these into one single file. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, it says midterm submission here. I know those are the correct sheets. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna think. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna call this midterm submission or whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna click on save, save again. It will do some thinking. Okay, let's zoom out. Notice that we have a nice perfect plot on our first page, but as I go down, they're all continually perfect plots from every single sheet. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. Okay, so that's what I wanna see for the midterm submission. I will deduct points if the plotting is not correct. That's part of what I wanna see from everyone is a nice, good, clean plot. All right, any questions about plotting? 
So this will be uploaded on YouTube. You'll have you'll have the ability to look at this if you have any questions over the next week. All right. So let's work on the critical thinking for just another couple minutes. Uh, we'll work on it till 10:45. It's seven more minutes, and then we're going to move on to our new material.